Team New Zealand surprised by Government's America's Cup announcement. Team New Zealand Chief Executive Grant Dalton has been left surprised by the release of an alternate plan by the government for the 2021 America's Cup bases. It was announced on Wednesday that a deal had been struck with Dutch company Stolhaven Terminals to vacate its Southern Tank Farm site on Wynyard Point early. With the land freed up, the government, with support of Auckland Council, are pursuing an option that would provide for at least seven syndicate bases around two basins in the Wynyard Wharf area with provision for restaurants and bars, public viewing and hospitality areas. It also opens the door for more land-based locations for America's Cup bases while reducing the proposed extension to Halsey Wharf from 75 metres to 35 metres. Economic Development Minister David Parker said the proposal was a win-win for all parties. But while TNZ have been working through a variety of base options with both government and council, Dalton said they have not yet met all parties' objectives. We are surprised with the release of the government plan at this point as from our perspective we are still working together towards a final agreement, Dalton said in a statement. In a meeting on Tuesday with government, Council officials, engineers and architects, TNZ said they presented a plan that delivers a contained and vibrant event village environment on the Halsey and Hobson Wharfs, without the necessity of building on Wynyard Point, for significantly less cost than what the government has come out with. Dalton added that their option has the ability to save tens of millions of dollars. Emirates Team New Zealand has always existed with the absolute priority of effectively saving money where possible, he said. While we are 100 behind the removal of the tanks, time frame is a hugely significant consideration in the planning for this America's Cup. And we feel our option presented to government and council, on Tuesday, eliminates the potential for unforeseen blowouts in both time and money when dealing with contaminated land which are factors none of the interested parties can afford in delivering the event on time and to budget. The plan presented by Team New Zealand includes the 75 metres house extension, which is already in the process for resource consent. It has the ability to house up to seven teams on the Halsey and Hobson Wharfs all within the confines of the existing neighbouring wharfs. This option allows for a much more contained event village which has always been important for a world-class event. We are acutely conscious of costs and believe any reduction in the construction costs and risks must be as seriously considered. The protocol for the 36th America's Cup stipulates Auckland needs to confirm its intentions and ability to host the event before August 31st, otherwise there is a risk it will be moved to Italy. However, Dalton reiterated his commitment to hosting the event at home and remains hopeful of reaching an agreement before the deadline.